So I want to share about a book that I read in my PhD program called The Vulnerable Observer, Anthropology That Breaks Your Heart by Ruth Behar. Uh, she's an academic and an anthropologist who spent much time in research, particularly ethnography, which is a qualitative data collection method that involves deep levels of observation, which is what we as teachers do. The story that Ruth Behar describes in the beginning of chapter one tells about a tragic event an avalanche that occurred in Colombia. For me, this is a metaphor for how I want to position myself as a teacher and how I hope to have my students think about their positionality. As teachers, we are observers of our students. So this is what Ruth says in the beginning of chapter one. In 1985, an avalanche in Colombia buried an entire village in mud. Isabel Alande, watching the tragedy on television, wanted to express the desperation she felt as she helplessly observed so many people being swallowed by the earth. She goes on to describe about a little girl who is stuck in the mud, and the cameramen pan the audience and show a photographer who is standing behind his camera and is trying to capture you know, every moment with this little 13-year-old girl as she is being swallowed by the mud. And the author continues to talk about um, you know, this, uh, this scene and this dilemma that um, I guess we as observers face. So this dilemma is similar, although it has much more drama to it, um, is similar to what teachers face every day. Um, we, do we stand and watch and observe the difficulties our students face, or do we jump in the mud with our students? Um, as teachers, positioning ourselves as the vulnerable observer might mean getting a little uncomfortable, um, revealing ourselves to our students as human beings, supporting them through struggles, both learning struggles and life struggles.